हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू शेक एंड विद लाइफ यूट्यूब चैनल हेयर ऑन दिस चैनल यू कैन वॉच वराइटी ऑफ वीडियोज एंड बिल्ड अप योर इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट स्किल्स आई एम नरेंद्र शर्मा एंड इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ आई सो नाइन थाउजेंड वन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम रिक्वायरमेंट्स आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लॉज नंबर सेवन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट सिक्स विच इज द सब क्लॉज ऑफ क्लॉज सेवन विच डिस्क्राइब द सपोर्ट एंड दिस क्लॉज सेवन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट सिक्स डिस्क्राइब अबाउट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल नॉलेज सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लॉज सब क्लॉज सेवन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट सिक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल नॉलेज सो बिफोर हेडिंग इन दिस वीडियो I just request to you that if you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel and then press the bell icon. So whenever there is a new video uploaded on this channel, you may get the notification about the new video upload. So here we start. Now first, I just read that what this clause is actually saying. 7.1.6 organizational knowledge organization the organization shall determine the knowledge necessary for the operation of its processes and to achieve conformity of products and services it implies that any organization whether it is a manufacturing industry or a service industry it has to determine what kind of knowledge is necessary to execute the different kind of operations for to achieve the conformity of products and services that means the organization get the conformance of the product and the conformance of the services and this this knowledge shall be maintained and be made available to the extent necessary this knowledge shall be maintained and available as much as or as many as people within the organization when addressing changing needs and trends the organization shall consider its current knowledge and determine how to acquire or access any necessary no additional knowledge and required updates when the organization face the changing environment and how this changing environment Uh, is faced by the organization changing needs and changing trends on the basis of that the organization the organization shall consider its current knowledge what kind of knowledge the organization has and with the uh, the changing trends and needs what kind of necessary knowledge or additional knowledge required by the organization or the people who are working in the organization they has to acquire to face the changing trends and needs so there are two notes note one says organizational knowledge is knowledge specific to the organization it is generally gained by experience it is the information that is used and shared to achieve the organizational objective the first kind of knowledge the organization the knowledge which is specific to the organization and it is uh, gained by the the experience note two says organizational knowledge can be based on first internal sources such as the intellectual property knowledge gained from experience lessons learned from failures and successful projects capturing and sharing undocumented knowledge and experience the results of improvements in process products and services and the b says external sources for example standards academia conferences gathering knowledge from customers or external providers so this is the lines of the sub clause 7.1.6 which describes about the organization knowledge now i will try to elaborate this clause in detail The new ISO 9001-2015 standard introduces 
the term knowledge. Earlier in 2008, the term knowledge not introduced. The, the term knowledge introduced by the ISO 9001 2015 and it defines requirements for handling of organizational knowledge in following four cases. So the organizational knowledge can be handled in four phases. What are these four phases? The first phase is determine the knowledge necessary for the organization or uh, for the operation of the processes and for achieving conformity of the products and services. The first phase is first the organization has to determine what kind of knowledge is necessary. The second phase is maintaining knowledge and make it available to the extent necessary. The second phase says that the organization has to maintain the knowledge necessary and and provide this knowledge to the people who are working in the organization as much as possible. The third phase says that consider the current organization knowledge and compare it to changing needs and trends. The organization has to understand the current level of knowledge of the people who are working in the organization and then compare it whether this knowledge is sufficient to address the changing needs and trends. And the fourth phase says that, that acquire the necessary additional knowledge. If the current level of knowledge is not necessary, then the, the people who are working in the organization has to acquire the additional knowledge so that they can face the changing trends and needs. Now, I will elaborate all these phases one by one. The first phase, determine knowledge necessary. Now, how to determine the necessary knowledge? The knowledge of customer expectations. All the people who are working in the organization, they, has to, they, they have to understand the expectations of the customer. That means they must have the knowledge about the customer expectations. Then they must have the knowledge about the suppliers and the raw material required and availability of the raw material with the organization. Who are the suppliers? What kind of material they are providing to the organization? The quantity of material the organization has. Then the knowledge of manufacturing or service delivery process. How the product is manufactured or how the service is delivered to the customer this uh, the process knowledge must be uh, available with the people who are working in the organization. So the knowledge of the manufacturing or service delivery process. Manufacturing equipment, what kind of manufacturing equipment equipments are required and what type of monitoring and measuring instruments are required so that the inspection criteria can be decided and how the product uh, manufactured using the manufacturing equipment. Then competency of human resources required to manufacture the product or deliver the service. What, what kind of competency? What is the level of competency uh, within the people who are working on the different kinds of process in a manufacturing industry or in a service industry? That competency level must be decided. That uh, the, the knowledge level of the competency must be determined by the organization. Then training required for the employees to upgrade the skills. What kind of training is required to upgrade the knowledge level all the, or, the, or the upgrading the skills of the employee? This must be determined by the organization. This, this is also a kind of knowledge uh, gain uh, parameter. You can see that. Standard oper operating procedures and method of inspection. What, what are the standard operating procedures to work on a different kind of processes or to using the different kind of manufacturing equipment or to use the measuring or monitoring devices and how what 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 are the methods of inspection what are, what are the method of inspection that must be determined by the organization that the knowledge what type of knowledge is required uh, to, how to train the people to uh, so that they can understand the standard operating procedures and method of inspection the technology required for manufacturing or service delivery what kind of technology technology is required by the organization that 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 knowledge must be necessary that knowledge must be determined by the organization now come to the second phase the second phase is about the maintaining the knowledge how the knowledge is maintained by the organization the knowledge is maintained by the organization by collecting the data then 
if the organization is uh, collecting the data then what type of data is required to maintain the knowledge then the this, this the first point says that type of data required this first point says that the type of data required then method of data collection how the data is collected whether it is collected manually whether it is collected automatically whether it is collected through the computers or or some uh, some other way so that method of data collection must be determined method of data analysis how the data is analyzed and the people who are the people who uh, are analyzing the data and uh, uh, finding the results and how they are maintaining the data then uh, the people must understand or uh, maintain the organization must maintain or uh, must provide the knowledge about the product and process specification to the people who are working on the data the results of process product and improvement the people who are working on the data they must compare the results of process product and process and product uh, how the process is improved uh, comparing the previous uh, level of the data and uh, how the product is improved comparing the previous level of the data lessons learned from the failures and successful projects the people who are working on the different kind of projects in the organization what they have learned from their failures what they have learned from their successful projects in which they have involved learning from undocumented knowledge and experience what what are the learnings uh, uh, from from the undocumented knowledge and experience uh, this this is another part of maintaining the knowledge necessary in the organization so uh, with the help of above knowledge uh, with the help of above points or above way the knowledge can be maintained and passed across the organization through the data the knowledge can be passed uh, uh, as much as possible to in fact you can say that the the knowledge can be passed with the help of data to everyone in the organization and by maintaining the knowledge in form of data and data analysis this will reduce the risk of loss of knowledge or if an employee leave the organization or does not want to share the knowledge sometime it is quite possible that uh, the person who is working on the data he may leave the organization or he does not want to share the knowledge to other people then if the if if the knowledge is uh, available in the data format then this can be shared uh, to the other people so uh, the 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 person who uh, the another person who is going to work on the data he can acquire the knowledge or he can share the knowledge within the organization so this will reduce the risk of loss of knowledge within the organization so with the help of these points the knowledge can be maintained with the within the organization and it can be passed to passed to uh, uh, almost all people if if the organization want to pass the the how much the uh, the data how much the knowledge the organization wants uh, wants to pass to the number of people it can be decided now phase 3 is evaluate new knowledge the new knowledge how can uh, an organization decide what kind of uh, new knowledge is required so first the organization has to decide or determine the current level of the knowledge understand the current level of the knowledge so for that uh, the organization check the status of the employee knowledge by interview them the organization can interview the people who are working in the organization and check the status of their current level of knowledge then uh, the organization identify the area of improvements to upgrade the knowledge of the employees uh, what what are the weak areas of the employees uh, in which uh, the organization has to work to improve the skills of the people or the upgrade the knowledge of the employees then what are what kind of changes are uh, happening in the market uh, change in the market or in technology and analyze which kind of knowledge required to upgrade the organization knowledge and uh, the current level of knowledge can be decided also with the help of uh, understanding the changes in the market and the changes in the technology and on the basis of that what kind of new knowledge uh, can be acquired by the organization that must be decided by the organization now come to the phase four knowledge upgradation 
how the knowledge can be upgraded the knowledge can be upgraded by the or by organization organizing in house training for the employees and to upgrade their skills or uh, knowledge by uh, organizing in uh, organizing in house training uh, within the company and participation in open house seminars the organization can uh, send the different participants or the the the, the participants the organization understand that these people must have this kind of particular knowledge uh, the organization can send them uh, send uh, those participants into the open house seminars if somewhere uh, such type of seminars are happening there is another way to upgrade the knowledge these are the e-learning courses for the employees now uh, nowadays the knowledge can be upgraded by different e-learning platforms such as uh, such as the youtube channels uh, uh, you can watch my YouTube channel, such as the Shake and Build Life YouTube channel. You can upgrade your engineering and uh, management skills. And similarly, there are a number of platforms for e-learning courses. The organization can upgrade the, the, the knowledge of the people, uh, knowledge of the employees uh, to upgrade their skills and uh, skills and improve their knowledge by uh, these uh, different kind of e-learning platform available so this way uh, I have uh, described to you the about the the organization knowledge which is described by the sub clause 7.1.6 now try to answer these questions and write the answers in comment box and tell me uh, so that I can check that what what you have how much you have learned from this video tutorial the first question is the term knowledge refers to what do you understand by the term knowledge the second question is which phase describes customer expectations and manufacturing process knowledge which phase describe the customer expectations and manufacturing process knowledge the question number three is which phase describes data collection and data analytics so there are four phases you have to tell which phase describes the customer expectation and the manufacturing process knowledge and which phase describes of the, about the data collection and data analytics you have to answer all these uh, questions in the comment box and uh, uh, also uh, write your uh, feedback and if you have any queries then also write uh, your feedback and queries into comment box and uh, so that uh, I can understand what is your expectations and what kind of videos I uh, need to make for you. Now, if you like this video, then don't hesitate to like this video and share this video among your friends and colleagues to upgrade their knowledge. And don't forget to subscribe Shake Hand With Life YouTube channel by pressing the subscribe button and then press the bell icon so whenever there is a new video uploaded on this channel you may get the notification about my new video upload on this shake hand with life youtube channel i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, uh, please uh, tell me what is your expectation what kind of videos you want to see on this channel uh, try to uh, uh, write your uh, feedback and your expectations into comment box and uh, see you in my next video of ISO 9001-2015 quality management system requirements. See you soon. Have a nice day. Thank you.